Has your mom ever told you to stop playing video games and you had no idea what to do? Well, I've got something for you to do. You got to read, do, 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 do. you got to read, do, 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 do. you got to read. I'm going to tell you all about the benefits of reading, finding the right book for you, and how to get reading part of your lifestyle. You're probably thinking, why should I read books? They're so boring and reading doesn't help me in any way. Or, reading won't do me any good. There are no benefits of reading books. Well, if you're thinking any of these, then you're mistaken. Reading has plenty of benefits. Reading makes you smarter. Scientists have found out kids' vocabulary grow by reading, and they do better in math and science. And um, their vocabulary grow grows by just reading one book. When you're reading, you learn new words, which expands your vocabulary. Reading also expands your creativity because you get an idea and turn it into something else. Um, and like if you have writer's block, you grab a book and start reading. Then when you stop reading and you start writing, you have a new idea. Now you might be thinking, okay, books do have benefits, but none of them interest me. Well, not every book is for everyone, but there is always a book that will interest you. Sometimes you might look at a cover and decide not to read. Well, there is a famous saying, never judge a book by its cover. Usually a cover doesn't mean anything. If you're still having trouble finding a book, find the genre you like, like fantasy. Um, then go to a library or look on a book on a website and look up fantasy books. You'll probably find stuff like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. That's how you find the right book for you. These are some ways. If you're thinking, I do like reading and they do have benefits. Um, but I don't have time for it, and I totally agree with that. It is hard to find time for reading. What you can do is make it part of your everyday lifestyle. We all have a certain time where we're free to do something. I think during that free time you should read. And if you don't want to read, if, if you don't want to, if you want to do something else during that time, then prioritize your time. Um, partly do, do one half doing whatever else you want to do, and do the other half for reading. And, and some, I know some students at like college or middle school, they don't have time at home for reading. So you could go to a class and um, bring a book with you. So if you're done with your work early or finish your test, you can read if, you, if the teacher lets you. Um, also, then if you still don't have time at school or anything like that, you can in bed um, before you have to go to bed, just lie on your bed and start reading. That's the easiest way to do it. Mm. I'm now show, I've now shown you the benefits of reading, how to make it part of your everyday lifestyle, and how to find the right book for you. I hope, I hope this info helps you when you can't go on electronics. Remember, there's no end to reading because reading does need to be charged. Thank you for your time.